Hey guys, so today I'm gonna show you how I contour and highlight using cream products. I love how contouring enhances your features and it's my favorite step when I'm doing my makeup. I know this isn't an everyday routine, but this is great for special events, so let's get started. First, I'm gonna highlight. I'm applying a concealer a few shades lighter than my skin in any area I want to stand out or to be lifted. I start by drawing triangles under the eyes to brighten and lift. Then I go down the bridge of the nose and the center of the forehead. This just brings light to the center of the face. I also like to highlight around the mouth because a lot of people tend to get redness or discoloration in this area. Then I take the line from the mouth and connect it up to the ear. This will go under where we are going to contour it later. And then lastly, I like to highlight the center of the chin. Moving on to contouring, I'm gonna take a cream foundation a few shades darker than my skin. What contouring does is it makes certain features of your face recede and kind of creates a shadow. I like to start with the hollows of my cheeks. This makes your cheekbones look higher and more sculpted. Then I contour the sides of my temples and on my forehead. This just slims the face and adds dimension. When you only apply foundation, your face can look flat. And when I worked in cosmetics, people always tried to buy darker foundations because they thought their foundation was too pale that matched their skin. And then they told me they never used any kind of bronzer. So contouring just brings the color and dimension back into your face. You wanna take this tutorial and mold it to your face shape since we all have different ones. So if you have a smaller forehead, then you might wanna focus more on highlighting than contouring. Now you can start blending. First, I'm gonna use a beauty blender to blend out most of the concealer. I like beauty blenders for creams because they just make the product melt into your skin. Then I take an angled kabuki to blend everything else. Make sure when you blend that cheek contour that you blend upwards. If you blend downwards, sometimes it can look muddy. I love this angled kabuki for blending cream products. If you don't have anything like this, another brush that does a really good job are duo fiber brushes. After you blend everything, you wanna set the cream product so they don't move or budge. I'm gonna first take a banana powder to set anywhere I put the concealer. Then I'm taking a neutral contour powder to set that dark foundation. I'm using Camel from the new line of Anastasia's contour powders. Now we can move on to cheek color. I'm gonna stick with cream, so I'm gonna take a cream blush from Chanel and place it right over that contour, focusing my color towards the hairline. I'm not really bringing it on the apples of my cheeks because I have a rounder face. For a cream cheekbone highlight, I'm using my favorite from Gerard Cosmetics on the high points of the cheeks and down the nose. Since I'm oily, I'm gonna go ahead and set the blush and highlight with a powder as well. So I'm gonna use Cantaloupe by MAC for blush and Opal by Becca for the highlight. Then the last step is to seal everything with a setting spray. So I hope you enjoyed and found this video helpful. Make sure to thumbs up and subscribe if it was and comment down below and let me know what your favorite contouring and highlighting products are. I would love to know. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.